Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to post data into your MongoDB database by using Node.js and Postman. So let's get started. So first thing, let me just go and create a folder over here. So new folder, let me name it as NMP, okay? Something Node, Mongo and Postman. So that's it, that's the folder name and I will just go to Visual Studio Code and just open that folder. Let's find open folder. project nmp red folder so this is our folder opened over here so just click it and let's just name main.js okay so, so this is going to be our only js file that we are going to use and now we are good to go we need to install two packages okay one is express and another one is mongoose okay so for that what we need to do is we need to just right click it and just click this open in integrated terminal so which automatically gives the uh, terminal to this path itself okay this folder itself so as i told you earlier we need express and mongoose so just do npm i express space mongoose okay, and hit enter just wait till it gets downloaded so once our packages has been installed we are now good to code okay so let's get started so first is we need to import express and mongoose just a default code over here so it's going to be const express equal to require express okay, within double quotes and next is const app equal to express that's it, we are done with express. Now we need to include mongoose. So it's going to be const mongoose equal to require mongoose within double quotes. And here we also need to include app dot use express dot json. Okay, as we will be passing json uh, data in the form of json we need to include this particular line over here and next is the important line we will be making our connection with our mongodb okay so in the next line it's going to be mongoose dot so this mongoose corresponds to this variable name okay mongoose dot connect and here we'll be specifying the url okay url are the path in which your database is present so since we are using local host okay local mongodb we will be putting mongodb colon slash slash local host colon then it's going to be the port number which is 27017 slash and here you can specify the database name so it can be existing database or you can just create your own new database so i will put my new db as my database name out of this double quotes just put a comma and a curly bracket okay and here you will be putting use in as cap new us cap url parser as true okay so in case if you get any warnings to avoid that you can just put this and next one is use unified topology same true for it as well so it's parser left a r so it's r and after doing this just come to this curly bracket end and just put a comma over there let's just display a message if we are connected and if we are in connected as well so let's just catch that error so error and just an arrow function over here so if there isn't error any error that is the error is null which means that we have been successfully connected to our database so in case that we can just console log connected to db okay, this will be the message when we aren't having any error and let's suppose say that we are having any error that means the else block will be executed so let's just copy this and paste it and let's put error that's it so this is the connection over here connecting our database smooth okay. so next is let's just uh, run start our server okay then we can just do the rest of stuff okay so it's going to be app dot listen the port i will keep the port as 3000 
uh, just an arrow function over here and I will just look console log on port 3000 just save it okay I think we are good to go just have a comment over here db connection okay save it now and let's just go to the terminal and it's going to be node your file name.js my file name is main we'll just hit enter over here so now we are getting on port 3000 and we are also getting control to db which means that there isn't any error so our error is null so this is getting respect so that's really well and good let's just stop this control c and now let's just create the schema okay schema for our mongodb database so i'll just i will i'll just type in the entire thing in the same file okay it's just going to be like 20 lines of code i don't want to have like multiple number of files and like make it really confusing just make i will just keep it as simple as possible so here we're just going to create the schema okay and uh, it's going to be const sch be my schema name okay and i will be having just two values okay let's say i will i will have a name is going to be of data type string and i will also have the email okay just just demo purpose i will just have an email Th that is also going to be of type string as well so in case like if you also want uh an id going to be of type number just hit number over here okay so once you have done with our schema you need to just attach your schema with the mongoose model so it's going to be const mongoose model okay equal to mongoose that is this variable name over here this name that you have specified that's this variable name mongoose dot to put model and here you need to pass the collection name collection name is like the table name that you are going to have in your mongodb database so collection is nothing but a table like in sql we call it as table and in mongodb we call it as connection so be really careful over there i will name my table or collection name as uh, new call something and next you will just put a comma and here we will pass this schema name so it's going to be sch over here so that's it we are done with our schema and we are also done with our model over here so next thing is we need to just create a post request okay code for the post request so it's going to be i'll just put post root you can say it as post route or post root and here we are not going to use any router we are just going to make use with the help of app.post itself so app dot means this app okay this name that you have specified over here so it's going to be app dot post okay there are actually many requests port post delete get but here we're just going to like push data or uh, input data so here we're just going to use post and here we'll pass the url okay so it's going to be for me just post so this will be like a uh, local host and colon port number slash post so that's going to be the entire url for this and it's just put a comma outside the double quotes it's going to be async and we'll just have a bracket and inside that we will have the request and response and just put an arrow function over here inside this so everything should be like inside this enclosed within this app dot post itself so after this what we'll do is we'll just have a console okay console dot log and we'll just pass the message inside post function okay just as a notification whether like whether this particular app dot post is getting called or not so just to verify that and next thing what we'll do is we'll just have a variable okay data so this const data is used to extract the data that we are passing to this url okay so we are going to we are going to post data so we need to have some input so that input we are going to feed it with the help of postman okay so in, with this help of this url we will be entering this local host slash post url over here and we will also enter this key value pair so this is where we are going to get the input so our input will be sent to this like url and data that is posted over here will be collected in this variable data okay so how we are going to do that is we are just going to have a new and we are going to use this mon model okay this thing this thing that's just a model mongoose model and what we will do is open circular bracket and a curly bracket over here and it's going to be name dot so name corresponds to this variable name over here okay so it's going to be name req dot body dot name okay so req refers to this one okay we just highlight this okay and just put a comma and it's going to be email req.body.email okay email corresponds to this thing another variable okay 
and next thing we also have id so it should be id just copy paste this stuff over here copy and paste it just have it as an id okay this all this data will come from this postman we will be just pushing all this data from here and we'll get, get to this url and from by using this method we will just segregate and store it as name email and id so this things request dot body corresponds to json body that we are sending it from our postman so once all these values are getting stored in our data we will just store this data in our mongodb collection so for that what we will do is just come over here const val okay this is something a shortcut for value equal to await data data corresponds to this data okay it consists of our name email and id data dot save so this line of code basically saves the data that is our name email and id that is passed from our postman and it just saves it in our collection okay and next thing is response we will just send this data okay response dot json you will just send val so val will also contain the same data uh, that is present in our data variable and response data means this will send back to our postman just it's just considered as a message okay we are sending data from our postman to this url and just getting stored in our mongodb's uh, database after all it's done the same data will be sent back to our postman again as a response so that what that's what is this uh, response dot json value means okay over here i think we are good to go okay so this is post we have done with our data everything we have done our schema model so let me just now save it and we just run it again okay, node and i hope it works so we are on port 3000 and we are also connected to database and i will just now go to database and check whether you're having a database named uh it's my new db okay so if i just go to over here and if you just refresh it so as you can see here we are getting a my new db over here and just click here i'll be i am having a collection so this is the collection name that i told you earlier that's similar to a table in mongodb so it's named as new calls and how we are getting the name is that it's from here new call we, i specified it as new call it will automatically add a yes to it at the end okay so that's by default so now our database and our collection has been like created over here so next uh, the final thing we need to post data okay so we will be po using postman okay like i guess you know this tool so what you do is you just close it okay. so just go to this plus icon over here open it and here you need to enter the url so, so it's going to be http colon i am already having like auto complete over here so this is like the url uh, that we are having over here so it's http okay if you do http yes i think you will be getting an error do http colon you will be really careful over here and this 3000 is corresponding to this 3000 okay if you have given some other value here make sure you that uh, make sure that you change over here as well so it's going to be slash post and this slash post is this url okay so corresponding you'll make use of this post function okay so here we need to pass three values okay so it's going to be a post request so we'll just go here and put post and just go to body will be not having uh, any space to input so you need to go to raw and instead of text you need to change just json we are because we are going to input in the form of json okay so i know you know the json structure it's going to be like a key value pairs so i think our first name is uh, name email id so it's going to be name colon and abc i will have just have the name as abc and another important thing is that your name email like the key should also be within double quotes okay name email i will just put abc at abc.com comma and our id colon let's say one two three four five okay since our id is of number type there isn't any requirement of double quotes but abc these are of type string cos we have specified over it as string over here so that's good i guess so let me just now send okay so we are having three values so if we just put send so we are getting this back okay so that's that's the thing i told you earlier we are sending it and we are getting this as a response back so the reason why we are getting the same value but we are also having a id as well as a version this is called as version i guess as zero because of this single line okay okay i will explain to you later okay first let's check whether we have got our value okay so now i will just go to our mongodb and this is our collection new calls if i just now hit refresh 
I will be getting these values abc, abc at abc.com and 12345. So it's absolutely fine. We have just posted data in our MongoDB and coming back to the response, okay? And we will be having like two additional, what to say, additional key, okay? We are having ID and V. We just passed these three over here. This ID is like a primary key. What do you call in SQL? It's called the primary key, which is like uniquely used to identify a particular row, okay? So this ID is automatically generated by MongoDB and this version V is like obviously also auto generated. You can also like have some code to avoid this as well. You can trade that as well. And we are getting this as a response back to our postman. Okay. And that is because of this line. Okay. This as I told you response at JSON uh, dot val is because we are this val will contain all these entire thing. Okay. And let's suppose say that we don't want to send that JSON. We can send something as well like response dot send and just put uh, posted. Okay, save it and you can also see that inside post function. That's because this function has been like called by this postman. We are just calling. It's like function call itself. We are just making use of this function. So that's why I'm getting this inside post function. Okay, so let me just now stop it. Control C. Okay, to stop. And I'll just run it again. So this time I will just uh, post some other data. I will put only A B, only A B over here, and one. I'll just send it. So this time I'm already posted, okay. And the reason is obviously I would I think you know because I'm just changing change this like from rest dot uh, JSON to I'm sending it now rest dot send posted. And if I just now go to my MongoDB, and if I just refresh it, I will be getting the new value over here so that's it i guess and in the upcoming videos i will also do many other crud operations okay so this is like really simple one just uh 50 nearly 50 lines of code really simple code i guess and i hope you have found this video useful i also did many other programming videos in c c plus plus java python as well as 3d animation in blender so you can just check those videos and subscribe and support me thanks for watching